Hi, I'm Lance Lucero, Product Manager of Astronomy for Celestron, and I'm here to talk to you today about how to power your telescope using our Power Tank line of product. First up, we have the Power Tank 7. This is a tried and true version of the product that we've been selling for years. It is a sealed lead acid battery, or SLA, and it's very similar to the type of battery that you would have in your car. This runs 12 volts. The, one of the great things about this is that it is fairly lightweight for what it is and the power that it puts out. It can run two telescopes simultaneously or two accessories if you have a telescope and say a dew heater. You can power out of each of these two ports with a car battery adapter. There are two USB ports here that put out one and a half amps each. All four of these ports can be used at the same time, so you don't have to worry about only using one at a time. They all work simultaneously. There is a built-in red flashlight here in the handle. There is a large adjustable spotlight in the front so you can illuminate large areas if you're camping and you're cleaning up at night, you wanna make sure that you got everything so the bears don't get you. On the back side here, we have a little storage bin, and in that storage bin actually comes one car battery adapter plug that allows you to power your scope. So this is the same basic connector that comes on all of our Celestron telescopes and the car battery plug that just fits in the, in the ports there. One of the other cool things about this is that on the back of this are two little terminals. These terminals can be used to actually trickle charge your battery in the case that you're out in the field and your battery dies on your car. You simply hook up your jumper cables to these, jumper cables to the car battery, and you're not gonna jump start it. That's not exactly a safe thing to do with this type of battery system. But what you can do is simply turn on the battery. The battery power will trickle charge your car battery and hopefully get it enough in a short amount of time for you to be able to disconnect it and start your vehicle and uh, get the alternator charging your battery once again. The Power Tank 7 does come with the sealed lead acid battery and the sealed lead acid battery does have a couple of drawbacks. Well, it is extremely affordable for its size and for its power. The one thing you need to be concerned about is the way you store it. These batteries do have a shelf life. If they are not upkept on a regular basis, say charged once a month, whether you use it or not, it does have a tendency to lose power and will not be able to regain it. So if you do that a couple of times and you charge the battery up full, it may say that it's full, but it may only be up to about 85%. Once you lose cells out of a sealed lead acid battery, you cannot get them back. It would basically be required that you replace the, uh, the battery. They do have a limited lifespan as well. They only last about 200 to 300 charge cycles. So that's basically taking a full battery, running it low, filling it up again. After about 300 times with a sealed lead acid battery, it does start to lose performance, it will not hold as much of a charge or be able to provide enough power for long enough and will eventually have to be replaced. This is the more popular 17 amp hour version. Now obviously this has a bit of girth and weight to it, but it is a significantly higher capacity. You have the same basic features. You've got the two ports here for the car battery adapters. You've got your two USBs uh, up here. You have your red flashlight, uh, which is connected to the handle. You have your large floodlight here. Some additional features that it has is uh, right here, you have a switch that allows you to turn on the emergency radio. It has a built-in AM, FM receiver and small speaker so that if you're ever in a situation where we have a big earthquake, fire, flood, anything like that, and you need to tune into authorities, this is actually a great thing to have with you. It also has a built-in siren, so it draws attention to you in case of an emergency. And the red light also has a flashing beacon setting on it that allows you to help also signal for help in the case that you are ever stranded. So on this side, we have the storage compartment for your cables and charger all fit inside here. And just like the seven amp hour, uh, this also has the terminals for charge for trickle charging a car battery located underneath this flap here. The Power Tank Lithium LT is a smaller battery. This only has about six amp hours in it, as opposed to the smaller of the two Power Tank SLAs that we looked at. This is actually powered by a nickel manganese cobalt battery. 
It is a safe technology. It has a high thermal sensitivity, so you don't have to worry about it catching fire like some of the other cheaper alternatives to lithium batteries that you see on the market today. This unit is nice and compact. It weighs about half of what the Power Tank 7 did, but again, carries six amp hours worth of charge. It has one power output here that allows you to power your telescope through the barrel connector. It comes with a cable that has the male connector on both ends, so it will plug in here and plug directly into your scope. Uh, you can reverse the cable, it doesn't matter. And it comes with one USB charging port that is measured at about one and a half amps. It comes with a convenient strap, Velcro strap that allows you to put it around your tripod leg so that you don't have to have it taking up room on your accessory tray or even to have it sitting on the floor. It keeps your cable management nice and short because you can mount this right up to the base of whatever tripod that you're using it with. The main advantage to this over the SLA is that this actually can get up to a thousand charge cycles in its lifetime which again is significantly more than what you're getting with the 300 or so for the SLA, meaning you won't have to replace it as often. And because of the lithium technology that we're using in this particular battery, you don't have to worry about maintenance as much. Yes, it will start to lose charge over time, but these batteries were designed so that they could be run completely flat and be fully recharged with literally no damage to the battery whatsoever. You can sit this on a shelf and in three months you might lose a quarter of a charge. We do recommend just for the sake of having your battery ready when you are ready to use it, is I would still try to charge it once every three months or so, even if you're not using it. Its size is relatively small. This would make a very handy thing to have in your car as an emergency backup for your phone. If you've ever found yourself in a case of an emergency where you're running low on your battery, this thing right here will help you take care of that as well as power your scope out in the field. Next up, we have the Power Tank Lithium. This is the bigger brother of the one that we just looked at. And this one here actually has about eight amp hours in it. So again, you can run a scope at one amp for approximately eight hours. It's IP65 waterproof and dustproof. You've got this beautiful seal on it right here. On the front, you have your buttons here to turn the battery on, as well as a light panel, LED, which is red. It has two stages of brightness. And if you hold the button down for a couple of seconds, you get a white light panel. Of course, we did that so that when you're at a star party or in a dark sky site, you cannot accidentally turn on the white light without actually holding the button down for two seconds. So you don't get rocks thrown at you by other people that are trying to observe and protecting their night vision. This also has two USB ports. One of them is a two amp, one of them is a one and a half amp. This also has the same provisions for the strap, which is included, that allows you to thread the Velcro strap and attach it directly to your tripod leg. So it's, again, it's off the floor and out of the way. But for other mounts like our CPCs or any of the mounts that we have with the dual fork arms, where the power supply actually rotates with the scope, this also comes with a strap that allows you to attach to any one or any two of these four anchor points right here and allows you to hang it on to your the, the handle on the side of your fork arm so that it rotates with the scope. Your cable never has to stretch. You don't have to worry about cord wrap when powering a larger telescope with this. Again, this uses a different type of battery than the last one we talked about. It's not the NMC. This is a LifePo 4 or a lithium iron phosphate. This is the safest battery technology on the market. This is the kind of a battery that you can drop, you can puncture, and it will not ignite the way the other lithium batteries will, the ones you see on uh, YouTube videos of laptops exploding at airports or of telephones bursting into flames. This is an extremely stable and extremely safe battery technology. And even better is that you can get two to 3,000 life cycles Again, powering it flat and filling it back up before this would wear out and need to be replaced. So again, it is a little bit more expensive, but you're getting a lot more battery uh, for the buck. Next up, we have the biggest boy of them all. We have the Power Tank Lithium Pro. Now, this is basically two of the smaller size, uh, two of these batteries right here, basically built in together. 
basically uses the uh, electronics package. So you've still got the same buttons, you have two USB ports, but the advantage of this is that you have twice the capacity in not much bigger than one and a half times the size and weight of the original power tank lithium. To power a telescope on this, you have two more choices. You have this port here, which allows you to plug in, again, the male barrel connector that will fit in here from uh, any Celestron telescope. And it does have one car battery adapter port on the other side. The beauty of this compared to this one is that the power tank lithium does have a three amp maximum output on this. So if you have one of the great big mounts and you wanna power this, if it exceeds three amps, you're going to need the bigger battery. So for example, uh, we recommend the larger one for our CGX and our CGXL mounts, but the smaller battery is perfect for the AVX and anything smaller. So this one here puts out five amps through this port and 10 amps out of this. So this is something that you can not only use for powering your telescope, but you can actually plug in something like a mattress inflator and use it for a short amount of time when you're out in the field and you want to have one of those little inflatable mattresses in the bottom of your tent so you're not sleeping on the dirt, this will actually come in quite handy. But remember that you, do, you are limited to approximately 16 amp hours of power. So obviously a little motor like that's going to eat up a lot of your battery in a very short amount of time. So I would recommend having more than one of these if you really do want to use it for that. But using this right here, you can use it to power your CMOS camera if you're doing imaging. You can power a dew heater from it. You can power your telescope, any other accessories that you have out in the field. These are very handy to have. Now, because of its size and weight, we don't recommend having the little strap as I talked about in the regular power tank because it's just not practical. But you do have the heavy duty strap that will wrap around uh, any of our tripod legs from the small ones all the way up to the largest CGXL style tripod. Again, this is an extremely valuable thing. And again, you get the two to 3000 recharge cycles with this particular battery chemistry. And it is the safest battery chemistry on the market for its power and size. This will guarantee you 12 volt output for 95% of its capacity before it starts to trail off at the end, just before you have to recharge it. It does have battery protection so that if you charge it, you can leave it plugged in overnight. It will not overcharge. It will charge all the way up to the top and maintain it. Same thing with its baby brother, the uh, power tank lithium itself. Both of these use that same kind of safety technology. So you don't have to worry about any of our batteries overheating or exploding if they're left on the charger. So last but not least, we have one other accessory that's part of the power tank line, but will not power your telescope. And that's this handy little accessory right here called the Power Tank Glow 5000. This is basically a red LED flashlight that has three brightnesses to it. But more importantly, it is a five amp hour power cell that allows you to plug into your smartphone or your tablet by means of a USB port to power that device for uh, an extended length of time. If you're like me, you're using a Sky Portal app on your phone all night while you're out observing and your, ba you know, your battery is slowly getting whittled away there on your phone during the observing session, it's always good to have a backup. But what's beautiful about this is that we include a couple of straps, these funny looking straps here, actually serve a really cool purpose and that's you wrap them around and stretch them around the flashlight. You can attach this to a tripod leg or any other thing that sticks out of your telescope. For example, a finder scope bracket, anything like that. If you're using your phone to take images through your eyepiece or if you're using, again, the StarSense Explorer where your phone is actually mounted to the telescope, this is a great way to power it and gives you the ability to kind of aim where your flashlight is pointed without you having to even aim it. And again, it's completely hands-free. Keeps your cable management short because you can mount this literally anywhere onto the tripod or scope that uh, you see fit. And again, great accessory to have, especially when you're out there in the field and you don't want, last thing you want to do is have your lifeline telephone worn out because you were doing astronomy all night. This is a great uh, device to have, keep it in your glove box, uh, makes, makes an excellent uh, accessory. So in summary, we have the smaller versions, we have the larger versions, which one do I use? Well, the trick is, what type of mount do you have and how long do you intend to use it? If you have one of our smaller mounts, like an SLT, uh, an SE, 
Even in evolution, those have their own batteries. You can use these to charge those. The smaller batteries should be fine. Again, it depends on how much of a capacity you want and what your budget is as to how much you want to spend. Again, remember the, the trick to these is uh, the sealed lead acid batteries are going to wear out faster. The lithium batteries do have a longer lifespan and uh, are going to perform better overall, but do come at a little bit of a cost and that's basically the decision that you will have to make. If you do have a CGX, a CGXL, CGM2, any of those type of larger German equatorial mounts, they have a tendency to draw more than three amps when both motors are slewing. That is why we highly recommend either of the two larger products for the larger mounts. If you would like more information about uh, our batteries and which batteries we recommend for which of our mounts, feel free to look in the description below for a link to a chart on our website that will actually go into detail on that and give you more information. Thank you for watching and clear skies.